and testing the all new Watchmon 5 from Batrium. Watchmon Plus is designed for all modular battery packs and Second Life EV batteries coming onto the secondary market, such as Tesla modules or anything with an OEM shared balancing harness. There are two versions, a Watchmon Plus with 10 to 15 S and for smaller systems, a Watchmon 7 that will do 6 to 10 S. They have two switch ground inputs, outputs. The functions can be user defined with the Watchmon toolkit. Function examples would be controlling fans or triggering a shunt trip. To communicate with the remote systems, it has a fully isolated CAN bus port with an optional RS485 port. The Watchmon Plus can do 500 milliamp balancing per cell which can achieve 6 amp hours per day per cell. More if you add a fan to the heatsink. On both, you can also adopt the optional expansion board for greater control if needed. When designing the loom, placement, fusing and wire size were all important considerations. I went for 0.12mm cables with 2 amp glass fuses attached directly to eyelets as close to the battery terminals as possible. After soldering the glass fuses to the eyelets, they were cleaned in the ultrasonic cleaner filled with warm water and a little dish soap to remove the remaining blocks. Then soldered a wire to the fuse and covered with heat shrink. Loom was then wrapped in nylon sleeve to keep it safe and looking tidy. Threading the loom neatly across each battery with three separate looms to make the install as clean and neat as possible. I numbered every connection on both ends and at the battery terminals using continuity test on the multimeter to confirm the cable locations were correct. This process took longer than expected and required a gentle touch as any slight bump or stress in the wrong place would break a fuse. Done over, maybe there's a better way, but all up I ended up replacing four fuses just for the install process. All looms were attached with zip ties to the battery mount to prevent any movement within the cables. Cables were run down the left hand side of the battery to the Watch One Plus. The black forels I initially connected were too wide, but fine to confirm the correct cable layout with the Tesmon. Changing the Tesmon into 14S mode, I was able to confirm all cables were correctly attached to the battery. I figured with all this effort making the loom, it might be nice for a new lick of paint and fill a few holes in the wall before proceeding to installing the Watch One Plus. Installing on a length of DIN rail mount made the install nice and clean. Mounted the DC circuit breaker that will be replaced with the shunt trip in the next video. To the right is two 2 amp fuses for both power legs to protect the Watchmon. For the final connection from the batteries to the Watchmon Plus, I used smaller forels and shortened up all the wires. Not wanting to damage the Watchmon Plus, I marked up the Watchmon DIN mount and temporarily installed a Tesmon in the correct position to finalise the loom and confirm the pinout was correct and ready to be transferred to the Watchmon Plus. I think it turned out alright as it's my first time doing this sort of thing. What do you think? Before attaching the loom, always ensure to remove the power and attach the negative side first and then the positive. Failing to do this may cause a non-warranty issue. Install the three temp sensors and run them to the top, middle and bottom of the battery to finish up the wiring for now. With the install complete, as you can see the battery is very out of balance due to replacing some cells recently. I'll be boost charging the lower cells with an additional charger to speed up the process for this video. As you can see, just three days with minimal solar to charge due to poor weather, the batteries balance nicely. Now it's time to find a better solar charge controller and inverter to more efficiently charge and discharge the pack. In the next one, we'll run through the Watchmon Toolkit setup and install the shunt and shunt trip. If you'd like any more information on the Batrium range of products, head to batrium.com or if you'd like to see any of their videos and help tutorials, head to batrium.com slash YouTube. Thanks very much for tuning in, tubers, and I'll see you on the next one.